NRC uh, started with uh, legacy data development. So legacy data development was basically all the people who lived in the state of Assam between 1951 uh, and 1971, 24th March. So we had uh, created a database. So that database was extracted from uh, 1951 NRC Assam and all the electoral rolls till uh, 24th March uh, 1971. And uh, this uh, database was uh, created, it was made public, searchable, and uh, phonetic base. Uh, and uh, it was around 250 people worked over around four to five months to build this database. So that was a very successful project. Over 95% people of Assam, they uh, got their legacy data uh, through these uh, applications. Um, so uh, that was a very significant work for us that it's archival, it will remain in the, uh, in the history of Assam as an archival document. I think it is the world's largest legacy database with around 2 crore, uh, 20 million records inside. So this uh, like uh, legacy data, uh, people when they applied for uh, uh, NRC Assam, uh, so then uh, they all uh, given as a legacy data, that uh, legacy data code we generated through legacy data uh, application and 95% uh, people get given that and there are another uh, 14 different types of documents uh, so in together all people have to give uh, some legacy uh, connections between uh, 1951 and 71 24 March uh, subsequently all these applicants this data uh, are being digitized uh, at 2500 uh, NSKs uh, that's called campus uh, through a technology called eform eform 1 and um, then the data all came to our uh, central uh, uh, data center to sync technology and it's a very uh, innovative way of bringing data from fields. Um, 5,000 people work uh, from this 2,500 uh, uh, NSKs and this data we compiled and then uh, it gone into a database and then we created for each family around there are 68.27 lakhs applicants, families. And each applicant we call uh, uh, ARNs, application receipt uh, numbers, ARNs. So this 68.27 lakhs ARNs, a report for each family has been generated. And the uh, verification teams uh, that carried do these reports to the field. And then they uh, brought all this uh, data from the field. And then again, through an another application called eFORM2, uh, we have uh, built, uh, uh, brought all this data through again Sync technology to our central servers. And then uh, we have uh, worked on another uh, e-form that we call it e-form tree for the family trees. So all these data that came from the field again brought into another uh, uh, computer generated family tree, again gone back to the field and then again, again they match this uh, data to the manual family tree submitted by the, these families and that came to our again uh, central data center through again sync technology. So uh, in together, all, to, all together we built uh, three um, uh, forms, eForm1, eForm2, eForm3. Though it's a, we call it a form, but actually these are all applications. And all the three applications work perfectly uh, with uh, the people uh, the, from 2500 NSKs. They worked under these uh, applications. And then uh, this final data that we compiled, uh, merging with uh, data from uh, document verification site uh, that uh, for each member uh, a, a final uh, decision was taken and that came into the part of uh, publication that happened on 31st night, midnight uh, 2017. We have around 27,000 villages of Assam. These 27,000 villages of Assam has been uh, digitized and uh, if you can see uh, like uh, uh, like uh, a district called uh, Dubri. Uh, so you can see uh, in, uh, that at, at each and every village has been uh, digitized and there is a color coded uh, based on the data and then uh, together with uh, Google Maps integration so I can see actually each village location and then I, I can drill down in each village and can go and find out uh, the um, data of the each village and the status of each village. So entire project has been uh, monitored through this uh, uh, special uh, tool called NRC Maps and uh, each and every record uh, we can see through this map or map in a visual form. So the entire project has been monitored through this uh, portal uh, and uh, the decision, um, a lot of decisions were based on 
uh, the support of these two. This is a real unique uh, project. Uh, I, uh, I have not seen a similar uh, large scale project with the, this kind of uh, monitoring support tool because we can monitor and then we can control the, the progress of the work of all the 27,000 villages and then uh, 2,500 uh, uh, NSKs. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the, uh, the decision makers who are the NRC authorities, uh, they are really benefited uh, from this application. The map was built by us uh, for the NRC authorities and uh, around uh, 70 people, they have digitized all these 27,000 villages over a period of six months. And then uh, we integrated this uh, all the villages with Google Maps by taking a differential GPS point around in 1,000 locations of Assam. Uh, which is uh, an accuracy of around 50 mm and then uh, georeference these villages and uh, brought all the data being digitized under this map. So there are 115 layers under this map and uh, we can drill down and can see all these 115 layers of different parameters and then go up to the individual uh, of the each village. The uh, entire uh, Boniman system was established in 1999 and then now so, so since then we are working uh, mostly in uh, uh, e-governance projects in uh, northeastern states and uh, some projects from US and uh, entire our team uh, they are from the local engineering colleges uh, passing out from the northeastern engineering colleges and uh, all are uh, we are uh, it's very proud to say that all the deliveries are being done uh, is done through the people uh, from this region uh, they uh, dedicatedly working for us